Right, at, at this stage, um, with the wash, the paint's done, the wash is done, most of the detail painting is done, I'm ready to start moving on to uh, applying the decals to this model. I've got this aftermarket sheet that I got a while back uh, by a company called Freight Dog. Um, Freight Dog Models, okay, um, which has got a variety of different sea fires on it. Um, I'm uncertain of um, <clears throat> the exact accuracy of uh, all the subjects. Um, the subject I've chosen is PR419 of 790 Naval Air Squadron. I've had a look around, I can't find any information on it to um, back up uh, any accuracy problems or anything, but I'm just going to build it. I'm just going to use the decals as they come. Uh, it's a well produced decal sheet, um, as you can see, uh, with an addendum decal sheet for the specific markings uh, or national insignia for the aircraft I'm doing. There's not a lot to say about applying decals really. That um, most people other than the uh, absolute beginner won't know. Um, I'm using uh, fairly uh, the traditional um, microset and uh, microsol setting and softening solutions uh, for this model. And I've got a cup of warm water um, as well. So uh, there you go. Um, so without further ado, let's um, Let's put some markings on, shall we? So, as you can see, I've picked. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to put put some markings on the underside first. Uh, I usually choose to do the underside first, just to uh, mainly when I'm using aftermarket decal sheets, just to check out um, how good or bad the decals are. So. I'm just going to add a uh, drop of the setting solution to the wing. Check the decal is uh, moving on the sheet, which it is, and then I'm just going to slide it into position. Uh, now the instructions here indicate that this uh, marking is uh, very far outboard. Um, it actually goes over onto the wingtip area. So having no particular uh, information to the contrary, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go with it. It actually makes kind of sense because um, sea fires then gained serials under the wings at some point, which meant that the uh, the markings, the the national insignia, moved uh, well outboard. So uh, I think you can uh, you can see that the decals appear to be performing very very nicely. No more than a few seconds in some warm water. I generally apply a few decals at a time with the um, setting solution um, and then I'll go back um, and add the, uh, the softening solution later when I've got a few decals on. Now I'm noting um, it's not showing up on It's not showing up on the underside here because it's on a fairly light, uh, light coloured underside. But I have noticed on the uh, decal there's a bit of a registration issue. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go straight to the top side where any registration issue will um, will show up. Uh, really. Um, conspicuously against a dark colour. I'm just going to apply one of the top side markings and, and see what we've got. Um, it looks like the uh, decal designer possibly hasn't used any uh, trapping to limit the uh, size of the white. In actual fact, that issue doesn't appear to have carried over to the uh, to the wing top side, which I'm very, very uh, happy about.
And the marking is shown here as going slightly over onto one of the uh, gun bay panels. Which in itself is quite unusual. One other thing that um, it's worth noting is that the marking also covers up <coughs> one of the uh, doped uh, gun bay panels um, or um, uh, machine gun openings. So what's going to happen is I will cut around that uh, in due course so that uh, it gives the impression that the panel, the uh, doped panel, has been applied over the national insignia. So then it's just adjusting this so it uh, matches. The other way, lots of people say you should use tweezers and brushes and stuff to manipulate decals. I've been modelling 35 years, I've always used uh, a, uh, a finger to move a decal about on a model for the most part and um, never experienced the slightest issue with that. So they're in place, I'm, I'm happy to say that um, first off the colours look pretty good to me, uh, certainly within acceptable bounds. Um, I could do, the red possibly could do with being a little bit uh, <coughs> a little bit darker because it is the uh, wartime C style roundel which would have the uh, dull red colour but um, I'll live with that for now. It's clearly not exactly right but um, I'll look when I've got the rest of the model together and the rest of the markings on and see if it's uh, so obtrusive that I'm going to have to paint over. So there we are, there's the uh, there's the decals on the top side, okay. <clears throat> so I'm still very gently adjusting these. Right. And I think that's about it. So um So now we're looking at putting the uh, fuselage roundels on. It's nice to know that the, um, the the panel detail on the model and the panel detail on the decal instructions match up pretty nicely. Um, so actually locating these markings <coughs> isn't too much of a challenge. Which is always nice.
Okay, so there's all six national insignia um, on the model now. I'm not going to apply the fin flashes because uh, at this point the location of the fin flash is dictated by um, a couple of codes that need to go on the fin anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the portion of this decal sheet that uh, is required. And uh, I'm going to apply the. I'm going to apply the codes to the fin, the yellow codes on on the on the uh, top of the fin, and let them dry before I apply the uh, fin flash. Because that's going to help with the location of them. Right, so that's the uh, that's the fin codes in place as well. So I've got what eight decals on here at the moment. So what I'm going to do now <coughs> is I'm going to slather all of these uh, decals that I've got in place with a quick uh, application of um, micro sol or super sol as it is these days, um, just to soften the decal and uh, help it conform. It doesn't matter how often you do this, um, it does bear repeating that when the decal goes wrinkly and looks like a disaster area, leave it alone. It, it, will, be, uh, it will be fine in the end, it will settle down as it dries. some of the decals are starting to look alarmingly wrinkled. <clears throat> okay so that's um, that's decal application. Next time I see you um, the decals will all be applied and we'll go over um, things like um, slicing the decals to add more um, softener along panel detail and stuff to make sure they look like they're painted on and things like that. But for now um, I'll see you um, I'll see you on the next instalment.